I want to quickly try to show you how to create match play. There are several different forms of match play you can use. Each club is different. I'm going to show you some basics in setting up match play that might make things useful. Under tools is match play. This will open up our match play dialog where you can begin to make brackets and set up our information for a particular match play event. Our tournament currently has 24 players and we want to go ahead and create brackets based on our event. We can choose to use brackets of 8, 16, 32, and 64. I'm going to go ahead and make three brackets of 8 for this individual event. I can then decide how I can want to create the brackets based on information, whether we have the handicap, index, as is, or if we choose to have seedings based on score, we can bring that in from other. The easiest way to make brackets is by handicap index, and by selecting in the index, you'll notice the list has shifted into order from low to high by the index of our players in the player list. When ready, we can shift into match play, and our brackets now can be created based on the information here. If we're setting tee times for events, we can click on tee times and assign tee times. Choosing what we want to do, we can set the earliest tee time set, set the interval if needed. If they're going to go off the first tee, the tenth tee, or half the field is going to go half and half. We can assign tee times to the lowest seed to go first, or we can go bracket order. We can assign tee times to all our matches or the matches that are only having to compete. How many groups do we want to put in each match for a tee time? We can say two matches or we can go off as twosomes. By clicking OK, you can see the tee times are now dropped into our brackets. If I choose to set future tee times, I can do the same thing through our view and set future tee times feature. Our brackets are now created, and we can save this information. So we can call it back up at a later time. If we like to create scoreboards, we can do the same through our different features of all on one and other brackets. All our one, we can add a heading to each line we can set the bracket number or the, the heading for each flight, display seedings, handicap, index, or other information onto the scoreboards, show the results, when it needs to be completed by, and show tee times. We can set our bracket size to any size based on our brackets. We can set the dates when the, these events need to be completed. And we can do this into Word and Excel. Once the scoreboard has been completed in Microsoft Word, we can then begin to print the scoreboard and make changes to it based on what we want. Since I didn't add any headings into the demo, we have information here that we can just simply remove and not display. If I want to make changes to this board through fonts and colors and styles, I can do that through Microsoft Word and our normal controls of fonts, colors, and watermarks. Doing match play in Tournament Expert can be pretty simple or it could be complex based on your particular match play event. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 818-545-8197. Thank you, and have a great day.